This video is for all my UGC creators who either A, don't have a UGC portfolio just yet, or two, are looking to update and upgrade their existing UGC portfolio. Because if you haven't heard the news yet, I just launched a UGC portfolio template that you can use to customize to your liking, to just kind of take out the guesswork and how to create UGC portfolio from scratch. So that way you can start landing brand deals that much quicker. So in this video, I'm actually gonna go through every section to show you how to customize it, how to group things in there, and also to optimize it for mobile. So watch the video and check it out. If you have not purchased the UGC portfolio template just yet, I'll leave a link in the description below. But if you have, this is how you can use it. It's a full kind of instruction manual. So enjoy. Hey, UGC creator. This is the portfolio template that you have purchased. And I just wanted to go through the whole template just so you kind of have an idea of how to navigate this, how to customize it for yourself and how to also make sure that it is optimized for mobile because I know that can sometimes confuse some creators as well. So first things first, obviously you can customize your name here just by clicking on the box here, you can change the fonts. The fonts will pop up here on your left so you can make it according to your branding here as well. And then what you can do as well with these icons, you can actually link them to your social media channels. So you'll just hit the three dots here for more and you'll just link it accordingly. Um, and this is where you'll put in your link to say your TikTok, to your Instagram, to your Twitter, whatever. Same thing with email, you can do that and you can actually link your email in here as well if you prefer or also you can put your email like right next to it as well. It's kind of why I left it both like that. Location, you just put whatever city that you're living in. Pretty simple stuff. Now, to make sure that things get optimized for mobile, especially in this top half, I'm just going to go section by section. Um, what I like to do is I like to group things because that way Canva can then recognize what needs to be grouped together to format it properly for your mobile device. So I usually bring these two together. So it'll be your title, so your, your name and your subtitle here. And you'll just highlight both of them and then you'll just click group. And then for any reason that you need to change anything here, you can just click back on the box and you can ungroup them. But I like to keep it in groups wherever I can course for mobile. I would also do the same thing for these icons. I would make sure that they're a group as well. And kind of just as you're editing through this portfolio, um, you can also go up to preview as you're doing this just to make sure you're on the right track. And here you'll have the two icons. I can move myself here. You have resize for mobile here. And then you can obviously see it, what it will look like on computer but on desktop, I should say. Um, and then you have the mobile phone here and this is kind of what it will show up as for your mobile uh, version of this all. Now, if you want to do things like center this, um, you should be able to do that as well when it comes to, one sec, here we go. Um, you can just also center it here in your alignment. So again, we'll ungroup it um, and then you can center it and then you can also follow this to kind of come in here as well if you prefer. It's really up to you how you want it to lay, look laid out uh, in your mobile phone version. Now down here, what I like to do in our second category is the video examples in each category. So here, instead of saying video examples, you can say video examples. But what I also like to say is like, say if these are just wellness videos, I would just write wellness up the top here, right? Um, and then what I would actually do for this as the title, I would go back into the three dots and I would lock it because then that will help keep that centered on mobile. Or you can also go to this padlock up here as well. I'm just going to X out of it because this is the actual template that I sell. So I don't want to mess anything up. And so when it comes down to these videos, so obviously you will take out whatever's already in here as these placeholders. You'll just click on the mobile phone itself. Not like that. We'll ungroup them first because I've grouped them. Um, see how everything's grouped together. So we'll click on the mobile phone and then we'll delete whatever's inside of that mobile phone. So then that way you can actually go to your own uploads and then drag in the video that you want to put in here. Again, I'm just going to X out of that so we don't mess up my... Uh, template here. Yeah. <laughs> and so in order for all of this to kind of show up on mobile, obviously you want to have the phone and then you want to have like this description underneath the ad or organic video, you'll write ad for X brand. 
um, or organic video for X brand, or you can just say the brand name here. Um, and then you can write, you know, a small little brief of like what this video was, if it was a product demonstration, ASMR, whatever. You can group them like this by highlighting them all. And then that's locked in as one group. I think what I actually had was everything grouped as a whole, because then again, when we go to preview, it should, fingers crossed that I did it right, um, it will come up as your video example, so wellness, and then perfect, see? So you'll have your mobile phone with the video, um, and then you'll have the description of the ad or the brand name, and then what um, type of video it is, and it'll all pertain to each mobile phone example here. And the same thing will happen in that second category that I've put in there for you. Now, I'm hoping that makes sense. Just honestly, when it comes to making it, um, you know, visually appealing for mobile, we want to work with groups. And that's why I've grouped a lot of things here. If you do need extra space in one certain section, you can actually like press on the background of this section, which is really cool. I learned something new the other day too. And you can actually drag this to make it longer or shorter if you need it as well. So I'm just going <laughs> to... Um, what's called backspace on that one um, and then obviously we have the second section with the video examples again because we want to have usually anywhere from like 5 to 12 videos um, in our portfolio we don't want to overload it because most brands aren't going to watch everything but um, 5 to 12 pretty good sweet spot okay so now we're going into UGC photography um, to my recollection I don't think I did anything here as far as grouping because um, sometimes Canva can just like understand what needs to be done as far as the layout on the mobile format. But what you can also do is you can group these as well. So then that way that ends up being one big um, group on your mobile phone version. This will look exactly how it does look on desktop though. Now, when we come down to past clients, same thing, you can obviously lock the title. And then I have all of these grouped, but say you want to, you know, add a photo into this, you can ungroup it all. So in that way you can work with each one of these spaces individually. And until, you know, obviously you've finished that, you've filled it up with your brand logos, then you can group it back up again. So all you would have to do is just highlight them all and click group. I wrote brand logo under here because you can write the brand name or you can actually delete these. It doesn't really, you know, matter which way you go. Logos tend to look really nice. That's why I left that there. And then as far as these, I've kind of left them separate because usually on mobile version, um, it ends up looking okay. But again, if you want to experiment and play around with groups, highly recommend that you do because it just makes it look that much neater on mobile phone. These ones obviously are kind of grouped as a whole here. Just so then that way, when you do your brand name, you do your analytics that you would drag into here. This is actually something that, I'll just ungroup it so you can see. You can actually just get a screenshot of some analytics and just drag them in. This isn't gonna like lock into any kind of grid like these ones, cause it's not really a photo. So you can just replace the um, this little placeholder with just the screenshot. Um, and then once you're finished, just group it back up again and then it's going to look sweet on uh, your mobile version. Here again, I've grouped both um, because this was kind of giving me a little bit of um, annoyance on mobile version, kind of was just looking a little off. So again, if you want to work on just a particular section, just ungroup it and then you can, you know, play around with here. You can maybe center it if you want to or keep it to the right not a big deal um, and then when you're finished again just group them up so that way they can lock in and then Canva understands what it's supposed to look like on the mobile version once again now for this last part um, these are all just kind of individual but again you can kind of play around with it when you go to your preview and see like what things are looking like if you need to group anything again you'll just have to highlight them and group them and then for these, obviously for your email, you would just pop in your email in here. You can obviously delete this. And then you can also say like, you know, change the sizing based on 
um, whatever size you want here as well. So I'm just going to go backspace all the way. Perfect. And then again, for your social media links, you can just link them down here once again. Um, if the brand ends up going down here and they don't want to scroll back up to the top to find your information. So I'm just going to show you what it all looks like on mobile because that's obviously the most important. So again, this is all locked in. This is all grouped in. It looks really nice and clean. It's all you really want when it comes to your portfolio, just as long as it looks clean for the brand to see what you're doing as far as your work. Um, this is going to look empty for right now because we don't have any photos there, but as soon as we do, you'll see them all pop up kind of like in a, in a row of two or column of two, um, and the brand logo stuff won't be as complicated there, like all messy like that. Um, and then same with the screenshots here. And then obviously you can see the services provided. If you want to make that centered, you can also do that as you're editing. But everything else looks pretty nice and neat. So I love that. That looks really good. I'll just go back up to the top. And then one last thing, you can just like check it out, see what it would look like on a desktop. Um, because sometimes these brands are probably going to be at their desk working away and they'll probably open it up on their desktop too. So you can kind of just see both versions. I think both are important um, and both look really nice there. So hopefully that was a quick, easy tutorial on how to navigate this UGC template portfolio or UGC portfolio template um, because I know sometimes it can get a little complicated, but I hope this made it a little bit easier and answered some of your questions. So I'm wishing you all the best and I really hope you enjoy working with this template.